saw that. <laughs> that was the best. I saw that. Apparently, from what I can gather, that's actually a very famous British actress called do you know, Kathy Burke. Uh -huh. She won the she won the Best Actress. Um, we're rolling. Right. Do you mind if this? Is, oh, sorry. No, can this sorry. be part? I don't no. know. I no, don't I just know. want you to know. I could be wrong. I've heard it was. It's Kathy Burke who did uh, that. She's, she's a very celebrated British actress. She won that award at Cannes. Award at Cannes for Gary Oldman's movie. Well, it's a it's a good 90s. way to start. Anyway, I yeah. think I think I could be misinformation. But That's all right. Congratulations in advance. Thank you. I'm never wrong on this, and I've never jinxed it. Congratulations on all the awards, the accolades, and the awards coming your way. Uh, for this, <laughs> uh, hey. That's lovely, and I uh, appreciate your patronage, and I appreciate your uh, faith in, in us and our movie. I, uh, you know, you know Rookie and Kingsman, a phenomenal hit, but at the same time, when you get the call that you've got to inhabit this, yeah. daunting? Yeah, of course. I mean, I've been really lucky in my 20s, largely down to Matthew Vaughan, who is sort of, you know, the, the champion behind most of my um, uh, higher profile projects. And, but this one, you're exactly right. It's it was it felt like just the most enormous undertaking in such a weight of responsibility. But you know, I'm an actor. I have an odd relationship with pressure. Um, that's what we all have. Uh, and I, I, there's something very exhilarating about it. And then when you find out that you're actually going to be doing the singing, yeah, like, you know, you can fix this in post. You can, <laughs> there's ADR, lip sync. I, ha I have to say, it, I think because it's a musical, it really, I think, needed an actor that, that was a singer. And I, it was, it was always at the heart of what. It was never a conversation that it'd be anyone other than me singing because I think that's what excited Matthew. Right. He felt that there was something I could bring to the role of Elton, but I think he wanted to give me an opportunity to sing. I talked to Jamie Foxx one time about Ray Charles, the Ray movie, and I said, could you have completed that part at that level having not met Ray Charles and spent time with him? And he said, absolutely not. So I ask you the same. I think it's, it's an interesting point. And you know, I, I talked to Jamie a lot in the run up to making this. And um, I think there is something really beneficial about sitting opposite the person you're playing because you just kind of, you know, that human connection really it feels like it feeds into it. I mean, look, you know, it's obviously, it's obviously not a prerequisite. You can turn in a world-changing performance like Rami did in Bohemian Rhapsody, having never met Freddie. Yeah. But I think it's, I found it really helpful. I found it really personalized the whole thing and made it feel important in a different way. You know, every performer, every person for that matter, at one point or other feels like Reginald, or they feel like Elton. Right. And Elton said when Elton John was created, Reginald didn't die. He's still in there. Yeah. So what makes you feel most Reginald? What makes you feel most Elton in life? It's interesting, isn't it? Because I think in some ways Elton felt like he had to distance himself from Reginald because Reginald was a, uh, an, un, an unhappy person who maybe wasn't able to achieve what he felt he needed to achieve. Um, but I think what makes me feel most, you know, I never feel Re Reginald in the way that he does because I have, I, I have a happy base, a happy root, great family, great friends. Um, but in terms of what makes me feel most Elton, uh, duetting with Elton makes you feel quite Elton. That's quite cool. Singing with him, that's probably about as near as I'll ever get to really being Elton. I can only imagine. Yeah. In fact, I would be remiss if at this moment, you know, I have a remarkable opportunity. I win someone that's about to be known for one of the greatest musical performances in cinema history. Well, that's so, very kind. Can we play some Elton John hot potato? I'll belt out poorly uh, a line or half a line, and if you could finish just the word or the phrase or the lyric. Don't you know? Goodbye. No, no I've got a new rule about singing that only when it's a full, complete performance. Because otherwise it becomes a bit like a party trick. Do you get what I mean? No, I mean, people that are famous for animated character voiceovers yeah. do the same thing. Like, hey, yeah. we need my ringtone. So yeah. I get that. You know who wins in this? You. The people that didn't have to hear, <laughs> the people that didn't have to hear my half of the performance. Hey, look, it won't be the last time you hear me sing, but it will be on a stage. Good to see you, Thank Congrats, you, brother. Man. Cheers. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks guys. for your time. It's lovely to see you. Likewise. Hey, did you like that? There are more exclusive celebrity interviews where that came from. Be sure and watch some of those over there. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll be together forever. <laughs>